Okay. The Expendables, Bill. I had never seen it. I've heard it's a fun movie. You wanted to watch this? And it's got wrestlers in it. It's got multiple wrestling connections, including yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who is the main one? But then Ar- yes. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yep. And I think there's got to be another. Who's the MMA guy? He's got to have some kind of wrestling connection. Couture. Randy, Randy Couture. Couture. I'm sure. Who plays he a dude named Toll Road. Toll Road. Yeah, didn't know that, but that's what There's a whole I wrestling am... conversation that happens too with him about the cauliflower ear. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, that's true. Yep. That's that happens in this movie because it's disgusting. Um, I mean, yeah, yes. it's gross. I wanted to watch this, it'd been on my list for a while, but I thought it was like two and a half hours. Then I saw that it was not nearly that long. It's like, yeah. oh, perfect. Then I tried to watch it. Granted, it was a Friday, it'd been a long week, I was tired, but I don't think I made it 20 minutes before I fell asleep my first try. <laughs> as soon as they went to that tattoo shop, you were out, right? As soon as they were the two mumblers the plane in for their second like look around or whatever. The two mumblers were on screen together for the two greatest <laughs> mumblers actors on screen together at the same time. <laughs> Having a conversation you couldn't understand. What do you do? You want to give me a tattoo? Yeah, of course I want to give you a tattoo. I, I'm not joining your team. I'm not joining your team. Oh, you should. What, what happened? I don't know. What do you want? So get your shirt off. I'll ever get this tattoo on you. Oh, why do you own a motorcycle shop when I work here? I don't know. <laughs> it's one even scene between the two. I did have oh, to see throw on. Guys. There was once or twice where I had to stop and put on subtitles so I could oh, I... make sure I wasn't missing some <laughs> huge plot point, which I was not. It's a Sly Stallone movie, so you had to put ca- I put captioning on. I put I put captions on for almost everything we watch, just because I feel like I'm gonna miss stuff. Yeah, especially when I'm taking notes. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna miss things, and if I read it too, I I don't miss it as much. <laughs> did like a outside. did a bird fly into here? What happened? There's a big truck outside my house right now. Is it backing over your car again? I don't. I hope not. But now he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Bill's just gonna run past us again. And be like, oh, I gotta go take care. Of yeah, my car's <laughs> being run over for a second time this year. I guess it was 2020 when his car got ran over. Right, a truck backed over his car. Is that what happened? Yeah, it it was trying to park, or the the road was so bad, something like that. And I I just like remember backing up backing and it backed up. over it. Yeah, yeah, backed up over onto it. You need that indestructible Tesla truck, and then you wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a beautiful truck. It's beautiful. It's got those square wheels, you know. If you had that Tesla truck, you would have nothing to worry about. Uh, so no, there's a fire truck and two cop cars out there with their lights on. Oh, baby! But I can't see them anywhere, so oh, I don't know no. what happened to them. Uh oh, they're inside somewhere. Oh no. But no sirens, so I don't know what's going so on. So that's, I guess that's good. Yeah, it's probably a better sign than than not. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That's frightening. What well, if you have to go, about? let us know. I will. So Tesla truck is that what we're talking about? I said <laughs> your car had been backed over. If you had that Tesla truck, you'd be all set. No car could back Here over your car. Oh boy. Uh so yes, Expendables is a movie <laughs> that I thought we should watch. <laughs> It is amazing that it took this long for us to get to it. To be it honest. really is. Because Stallone I about it for a while, but Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Steve Austin, like Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. What else is in there? Yep. Uh, Terry Crews. Crews. He's been Arnold, wrestling. Bruce, Bruce Willis. 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 Great part by Willis. I love his part. Yeah. In and out. Perfect. We talked him. about Mickey Rourke, but we didn't name he's one of the moments. Right. Mickey Rourke. Jason Statham, Jet Lee. Mickey Rourke talking to Stallone. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. Yes. <laughs> also, his look. He looks the same in Iron Man that he does in this movie. He has the same <laughs> hair and everything. He's he an looks... Iron Man? Yeah, he's an Iron Man, the too. One. The worst yeah. Iron Man. The worst movie in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe he's in. As the you thought guy. that one's worse than uh, 3? Iron Man 3? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worse it's a toss-up between World. Thor The Dark World and Iron Man 2. Okay. Those are my two least favorite. 
because Iron Man is only Iron Man and Iron Man 2 for like 12 minutes. That's it. Like he's Tony Stark for the most, for almost the whole movie. Yeah. Anyway, The Expendables. All right. So The Expendables, by the way, is given an $80 million budget. It's not so small. No. It box office $274.5 million. Nice job. That's why they keep making them. Yeah. Are there only three? So far, I think there's. Just get, there's got to be to do another one. I'm sure they'll do another one, right? I will say, I did also like a lot of the soundtrack on here. Oh, so yeah. They went full, on full on classic rock. Yeah. How much. Did you want to fly in that piece of shit plane and listen to like Skinner? Oh, so much. <laughs> and just die in a plane crash like Skinner? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I just mean, listen to cool Jesus. classic rock music on a weird plane. With uh, Stallone flying it? No, thank yeah. you. Well, he doesn't fly it all the time, does he? I thought well, him and Statham. Him. Statham yeah. flies it sometimes. I, I would trust Statham. He's the I transport. Like, I like Statham a lot. And he's actually good in this movie. I mean, his subplot is a very weird and doesn't come uh, back, right? Yeah, it right. doesn't come back at all. Or, or did I miss something? I don't think it does. <laughs> it makes no sense. But whatever. Um, so we Expendables start with the... for Expendables 4 is announced. Announced, of course. okay. Yeah, yes. gotta be. They'll do those until everybody's dead. Yeah. Uh, so we start with an action scene, of course, because it's this crew. And it's mostly just to meet Meet the whole gang. Right. So they're mercenaries, uh, aka the Expendables, and they are deployed to go fight some uh, Somali pirates, I believe they are. Of course. Yeah, it's that time of the. It's a lot of Somali pirate movies going on in no. when this movie came out, right? So we get uh, Barney, of course, Sylvester Stallone is the leader. Yes. Dumb His man. partner, uh, Knife Creep. Lee Christmas, aka Jason Statham. Lee Christmas. Martial artist uh, Jet Li plays a character named Yin Yang. Oh, <sighs> oh god! I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, um, he he also I like I love Jet Li, but he has some real stupid stuff going on in his character too. Yeah, his character made no sense. He's None. small. He's small compared no. to these other giant behemoths. Okay, no, no not not that. I need no. more money for my family. That I don't, oh, yeah. I don't have a family. And we never bring it back up again. Oh. We sure do not. And then he's just okay with Dolph Lundgren, what he did? Yeah. <laughs> I, when we get to the end, I'm very confused. That makes no sense. Uh, speaking of Dolph Lundgren, he plays Gunner, of course. Yeah, Gunner. Who is a sniper, which I didn't realize that that was his role. Seems like he would have uh, done a lot more damage than yeah. they want. Like, you know what I mean? In the first scene, like he just yeah. sniped everybody. What, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so his name is spelled not Dolph's Terry Crews. We meet. His name is spelled H A L E. Okay, he's a weapon specialist named Hail Caesar. <sighs> okay. And then, Toll Road, aka Randy Couture, who is a oh. demolition. He's oh. an explosions guy. Oh, absolute worst part of this whole thing, Randy Couture. Um, Sucked. Horrible actor. Imagine yeah. that. Awful at acting. Like, there's other UFC actors that are way better. My God, he's bad. So these guys are obviously good. It basically is Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham can do it all on their own, but we, we get yeah. A big gunfight with Dolph Lundgren. Um, and then him and Jet Li get into an argument. Can I just use the real names instead yeah, of those yeah. names? Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, I'm sure. not going to know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they get into a fight about whether they should hang a pirate. And, they're, right. and uh, right, Dolph right, is right. like, he's a pirate. Why wouldn't we hang him? So, um, but... but they basically have to hang up and like stop Lundgren from murdering, even though they are mercenaries. Isn't this dude already dead? I don't know. He shot everybody with like exploding body machine guns. like. And the way they were shooting and not hitting one, one single hostage, that's uh, bullshit. They shot bullets that bullshit. made bodies explode. Spray. Like arms, bull, arms 
a dude got shot with a bullet and his arms, yeah. both of his arms would fall <laughs> off. Yet they were unable to, like, and it was like six inches away from a hostage. It makes no sense. They're uh, very good. Uh, but they, bit, so they have him like tied up in the airplane. And then once he ha- takes a breather, they let him go enough to let him go and hand him a weapon. Like, here's a big knife. We trust you. Why? But also when we get back, you're out of the crew. You're off. We're pulling you off the streets here. We can't trust you anymore. You're kicked out of the underground expendables. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the other thing about the expendables, which I maybe I should, should I save this for the end? Maybe I should say this for the end. It's a remake of the Dirty Dozen, right? They just said. I've never seen the Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen is like a bunch of mercenaries in World War II that have to go do this job that is completely, it's sort of the exact same thing as like, um, what do you call it? That uh, Suicide Squad? The suicide Squad. It's the su- suicide Squad is also a copy of Dirty Dozen. These dudes have to go in and they have to do this mission that they're not going to survive. And then they all die in the movie. <laughs> a lot of them all die because the mission is so dangerous. And I can't remember exactly who survives. I, I'm pretty sure they all die. Um, and there's like a couple other Westerns that have the same plot line. And this movie is like, yeah, we're going to copy those movies, except for everybody lives and everybody's fine <laughs> always. <laughs> there's no threat at all. Everyone's just cool always. <laughs> like, we couldn't have killed any of the, We couldn't kill Randy Couture off. Stone Cold Steve Austin could have killed Randy Couture. Come on. Not even- does Stone Cold? Oh yeah, he does. He doesn't, okay. he doesn't kill anybody. He dies. Yeah. yeah, that's my main complaint of this movie. You're gonna copy that that whole plot, and you're not gonna kill anybody. Not a soul. Not even yeah. Dolph. Not even Dolph. <laughs> Dolph is back at the end. He's on the team again. Why? Yeah, I get confused by the end. Sorry. Um. So we go back and we see a meeting in like an old church or something. Of course, it's Sly oh, Stallone and his uh, friend of me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Right. They know he's, each other and don't also, like each other. Yeah, he's also a mercenary, I guess. I find it hilarious that Schwarzenegger's entire role in this movie is he walks into the church and is like, I'm not taking the job. And then he leaves and that's it. Yeah, yeah so they <laughs> go and they, he knows all about the job and then he's like, yeah, I'm not going to take it though. Yeah. Basically, That's his only role. <laughs> uh, a Mr. Church, aka a Mr. Bruce Willis, is like, Who's oh, hey, other guys that are famous, I have a job. Who wants it? Who has that fantastic line where they like looking at each other? And he's, what does he say? What are you gonna suck each other's dicks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get to the point. I got yeah. business to do. <laughs> Stop yeah. looking at each other like that. And then they have a very long, like Ninja Turtles two pause, where he's like, "You gonna ch- you gonna suck each other's dicks?" And it's like, <laughs> "No." Uh, <laughs> not right now. I like I like the line after uh, Schwarzenegger is leaving, and they go, uh, "Somebody says something," and uh, I think it's. Sly, who responds with, "Oh, he wants to be president." Yes, yeah. definitely oh, yeah. right. When he's yeah. yes. was he governor at the time of this movie, and that's why he couldn't be in it? Maybe. And then the second one, he actually oh, isn't. He's not governor, so he can. Act- he might have been because I feel like it was like is a big it? deal that he like stopped to do this one scene. Is that it? He that's was probably it. Governor right? of California from 03 to 2011. Okay, yeah, yeah. 2010 is when he. So that's movie it. Was. That's the reason he couldn't. Yep. But why can he be in it? I don't understand why he can be in it for a cameo, but not. Is there some kind of like? Probably, he probably shot this in one afternoon. And... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Very bizarre. Um, but you can also be the mayor of uh, a county in Tennessee and just go wrestle in Saudi <laughs> yeah, Arabia. Go choke you want, slam so. people and dress up as a fucking demon. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so Which while is... we're getting a contract here for right for Sly, we get to see. Let's just crowbar in a little backstory for Christmas for oh Jason Statham. God, he I love to Jason. visit his girlfriend who he misses and he loves, and she's like, "I'm leaving you for somebody else." Sorry, because you're a weird mercenary who's never around. I've left you for another man. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what you do. You're just always working. Yeah. I've known you, you for a weird year, thing for. But a place. I still don't know what you do. Yes. <laughs> uh get out, lady. He's he's get out. 
He's trouble. I mean, she, she did make the correct decision in leaving him. That is a correct decision. She just chose a very poor replacement. She unfortunately chose a dude who also was abusive. Yes. Her new guy Only was abusive. Physically. Of course. Um, Which makes no go- sense in this story. Absolutely no. Did not need it at all. Did no, not need, need a it. single minute of it. Uh, so we get, um, before we're going to get the whole crew involved, Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone decide we need to fly down on this very auspicious plane. Just yes. check it out. See what's going on. We have a contact down said, there. Like wildlife on it or whatever. Yeah. I like this section here. I like them together and I like how it ends. I think I, I do like, I like Statham. I like their dynamic. I like their I like, dynamic. Yeah, I enjoyed them together here. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the movie, I think. So they essentially go to meet a woman named Sandra, and they say, like, drive us to, like, the bad guy's house. And she's like, oh. Nope. No? Like, drive us that... close to the bad guy's house. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, kind of? Not even close. Um, so they go, and of course, the general, by the way, they're going to, oh, yes, they're trying to take down a general of a guy who, I didn't realize this, apparently the island was in the Gulf of Mexico. It's like an unknown sure. island that Seems no, like America no one would knows have about. a handle on this, but okay. Yeah. Well, this guy is the guy who's in charge of him was like from a former CIA agent. Yeah. Who was what were they trying to make? Drugs? I don't even know. I feel like I well, they had a bunch of drugs. They're making yeah. drugs. Uh so they go and they meet up and uh, we get a truckload of guards. Oh, yeah. And they're like spying on them. And they're like, oh, get the suit, get the suit. So it's not just the army. There's also a rich white American dude. Right. Eric He's Roberts, the, who we said, right? Eric Roberts, who is who's just in Batman uh, Dark Knight, right? As yeah. like the mobster. Yeah. Yeah. And then did. he made a better movie. No. No. <laughs> not at all. Um. So, so they realize, all right, there's something else going on here. They go to look at the, the compound, and they get attacked by a bunch of soldiers. Um, a bunch of yep. Vilena, Vilena, Vilena soldiers. I'm very distracted by the guy who's the dictator, general. the general dictator, because he was in Dexter as, like, a yeah. nice guy, yeah. right? <laughs> he was, like, his one name, of the... His name was Angel. In Angel Dexter. in Dexter, who was, like, a really fun character and like a oh, good yeah. cop in Dexter and I, I probably the most likable person in Dexter easily easily the most <laughs> likable guy in Dexter so to see him as like the evil bad guy is like <laughs> this makes no sense because he's so likable in Dexter <laughs> yeah. Angel he's Angel come on what happens to Angel does he die I stopped watching the show I hope not uh, he... oh in the oh Jesus I think he does. Ah, oh, man, I got so pissed when the sister died in Dexter. I'm like, really? This was the whole like. Oh yeah, you didn't know about that? No, I, I watched the entire thing. I just don't remember. They she kill her bef- way before the end, and I'm, and it's like an accident or something. She dies, and I'm like, ugh. See, I remember her what? finding out that she finds he's a, out, and I think she dies player. like shortly after she finds out. But I also remember her killing the 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 captain the yeah keep female captain or whatever because she found out that dexter's a she turns yeah, but... evil which makes no sense like the sister yeah. was like pure good but she turns yeah dexter's a fucking bad show after and five seasons yeah so they, bad they went into a weird incest thing they were like no yep. no 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 yeah no, oh no. stop doing that oh ah. yeah. but the yeah fuck? all right he sorry well, go ahead. he was great on dexter <laughs> uh so yeah we get a bunch sorry. of soldiers attacking two of these guys so naturally, they kill everyone. Of course, lots of knife throws, and <laughs> yep. and then he fires a bullet that goes like just over Jason Statham's head, which for some reason he doesn't like him because he yeah doesn't yeah. trust him. He gets mad. You gotta like, hit me. <laughs> you gotta hit my hair. You don't have. Any but hair. we find out a couple things. First of all, one of the soldiers says you're the general's daughter, and I'm like, oh, mm. that's that's interesting. big reveal. Oh, yep. Very surprising. Didn't we kind of? I kind of figured that. She's, oh, without it, yeah. Because the like, first thing she said, "Do you have any family?" Is, my, mother, no. my mother died, and then I'm like, I, "Dad's I also." Yeah. yeah, it's like, around. oh, so your dad's 
your dad's the the yeah. general. Okay, yep. we get it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, figure that we, out. We get all sorts of exposition here, where it's like, all right, um, your dad is the general. He's backed by this uh, ex CIA agent. We find out Eric Roberts, yeah. and then he has a guy named one name, Payne. Payne. Steve Austin. <laughs> Which is like also made me laugh because it's like Austin's original pitch for Steve Austin. You're going to be Fang McFrost. <laughs> it could have been this movie. Your pain. God damn it. And then there's the Brit who is Gary Daniels, who like is vaguely familiar, but I don't know how I know. Yeah, him. yeah I recognize this dude, but like, who cares? Yeah. That's how I felt. <clears throat> But essentially, they want to keep Garza in power because it makes them money, I guess. They, they could make drugs. They're yeah, like, they're all like, right, we got to get out of here. And Sandra is like, no, like, this is where I live. I got to stay leaving. try to help. They keep trying to get her out of there. And Jason Statham's like, all right, well, we're leaving. So, bye. Yeah. She and... doesn't uh, She doesn't want to come with us. Stop trying to make her come with us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, come on, Stallone. You go to go. She's got to come with us, though. We got to turn back. And Satan's like, well, I'm starting the plane now, so bye. Fuck you. <laughs> Try to jump on this plane, you old-ass man. And it's in uh, the air when he jumps on, grabs the side of it. Oh, my God. And there's on for a ride. There's way too much Stallone running in this movie. Old man Stallone yeah. running. Yeah. Don't run. Runs faster than a plane that is in the air. He catches a plane, <laughs> jumps onto it, has enough grip strength to like pull himself in. He's using that little squeezer, you know, get yeah. that grip strength going. Yep. But I did like that. They're like, well, we're obviously we're leaving, but we got yes. a lot of weapons on this plane. Yes. <laughs> They're all sitting on a pier, just hanging out together. Yes. Yes. Yep. Great. Let's go kill a bunch of people. Best scene in the entire thing. They yeah. do spin around and they go and they blow up a lot of this. Army. I wish they had just done the fire, like gasoline fire thing. Like that was cool. That yeah, I was. Didn't, we didn't need the machine gun part, right? I Except feel like... that no. you get to see Jason Statham just in front of a plane with no anything in front of him. Yeah, He's just right. there hanging out. I feel like if we just set fire to the pier, that would have been enough. Yeah, but we have to shoot I, I, people I like... first. Yeah, I like the shooting, and then I thought it was pretty clever how they they dump yeah. fuel on them and then and right shot they them. dump fuel yeah. on them and they shoot the flame on. Yeah, that was great. How did nice they start explosion. the flame again? He shoots a flare oh, sh- into it, doesn't flare, he? Yeah, yeah. yeah Statham right. winds him up and shoots I think one that would have been cooler if they had just dumped stuff and the the army was like, uh, oh, what? And then they. But shoot the problem the is. The, the army would have been shooting at them the entire time. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. And also, do you not want to see Jason Statham just st- standing on the front I do. of a plane shooting a machine gun? <laughs> what kind of plane is this where you can crawl underneath the control panel to get to yeah. the front, open up a thing with a machine gun in it? Yeah. I still think this was the best scene of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. But so they go back and they're bubbed out, and we get to go to a fun scene, except, uh, Jason Statham can't take a hint, so he goes back to his girlfriend Fun. to see that she's got a bruised face. And he does what any person would do. He drives yeah. his motorcycle in the middle of a basketball game yep. yeah. and beats a bunch of people to a pulp, almost killing everybody. He beats up an entire game of basketball and then says, like, this is what I do for a living. Oh, you I fight kicked teams? A, <laughs> I kick the fucking shit out of basketball games? What? Yeah. I was I was very confused as to why he let her off, and then continued to drive onto the court. Like, why not just park park your also, motorcycle back there I'm and all then walk f- up to him? I don't know, but I'm also for like I'm all for helmet safety on motorcycles. Like, wear a helmet. Yes. But to see him like wear a helmet <laughs> and then be like, "I'm a badass." Let me. T- <laughs> why is he wearing a helmet? Pick it's it a up. weapon. It's a good weapon. I guess, like pull it, just pull it off the back. Like, why is he wearing a helmet the whole time? He looks stupid. I don't know. I I know it's like a very big nitpick, but I'm like, why is this guy who's like not gonna ever die? He's invincible. Why yeah, is he, he does, wearing a? He flies in front of planes without a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's on a motorcycle wearing a helmet. What? I don't know. 
I enjoyed um, him beating up the basketball team, though. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he just, like, says to the girl, like, see? That's why you shouldn't have left me. But that's it. Yep. We never yeah. get <laughs> back to this. It yeah. doesn't matter at all. It does not. Just a fight yep. scene so he can show he off. Goes, yeah. He says something to the effect of, I, I'm like, this is what I do, but I'm still a good guy, and you could have had it. And you're not. I'm a good guy? But, I just murdered all these people. <laughs> <laughs> I beat them within an inch of their lives, but I'm a good guy. Yep. Um, we now see that these two have brought um, Jet Li back into the crew, and they're trying to figure out what's going on here. And they're basically like, well, if uh, Bruce Willis is with the CIA, that must mean that they don't really give a crap about this dictator. They're trying to take down their ex-CIA guy there, Eric Roberts. Right, right. right. They're using so, us. There's not enough Bruce Willis in they, this movie. Yeah, because they can't go in themselves, so they have to send. We us. needed some more, Bru- like another Bruce Willis scene. Need I can do you one better. Instead, we get a nice one-on-one talk between uh, <laughs> Stallone and Cool. His name is Cool. cool. Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is the mumble scene. Yes, where he's like, oh, Uh, uh, I was in Bosnia, uh, and uh, I saw a girl that was going to commit suicide, and I just doffed my cap to her and said, go ahead and jump, and she did, and now uh, I feel bad about it. Now, because... I could have saved my soul that night, bro. (laughs) He's like, I could see she was going to jump, and I didn't help her. I just walked away. I killed 150 people before that, but I said, I could have saved my soul that night. One person. One, yeah. one person. So basically, he says uh, to him, like, if there's one girl that you thought was kind of cool, you better go try and kill, save her. You never who know. Who, I also like how his like, I'm if I'm gonna die, like I'm gonna die having sex. <laughs> <laughs> Crack me up. Like I'm not gonna die like in a in a foxhole with you. I'm gonna die by a beautiful woman. <laughs> okay <laughs> whatever would like is this what is this <laughs> yeah, is he, so, the, so is he in the other movies I can't remember I don't, I don't think he is. I think so I, I think imagine he is. he is oh my god uh, but just in case you're not sure how to connect the dots here he is saying go after Sandra and to drive it home we get a scene where Sandra's getting waterboarded by Steve Austin yeah <laughs> Oh my god! Legit waterboarded. I mean, oh obviously god, not. Legit, but... Right? Why? Why? Why do they put that they, towel? Yeah, why they... do they put? Why put a towel over someone's face? That's that's, like how, such... you that's, that's, that's what, how you waterboard. That's that's how you that's how you torture someone. Yeah. Is it? Yep. Because yeah. it slows it down enough to. I don't understand. I don't really yeah, understand like... the dynamic. Right. Why does just pour that? water on their? Face? All right, let's take a pause and let's go through waterboarding. <laughs> how it works and why it works and how to do it best. Mickey Rourke is from Schenectady. Is he really? I feel like I knew that now that you said it, but I wouldn't have ever remembered that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mickey Rourke. Holy shit. All right. I'm, I'm, I was looking up to see if he's in I just, the, the I can never get over that they did a 20-minute scene with the two of them. The most mumbly mumblers of all time. Oh, he is not in the other extendables. <laughs> They're oh. like, one and done for you, Mickey. Mickey, yep. you're out. Sorry, that uh, whole wrestler <laughs> thing is over. <laughs> you're out of here. <laughs> he must have made um, pretty good money because he made The Wrestler, then yep. Iron Man 2, then this. Like, he must have made pretty good money here. Well, I feel like The Wrestler didn't earn a lot did it but it was an oscar like award movie yeah so it must that, that's what he wa- that's what he won his oscar for right? did he win an oscar i can't remember he, he won something because he everybody was super freaked out because his acceptance speech was about thanking his dogs and how he almost committed suicide what yeah i don't you, remember yeah, that that's you, weird dogs yeah wow because his dogs like save. So him. He, he probably won like a Golden Globe so or something. The wrestler box office forty four million, but the budget was six million. So so it made to- so much more. Yeah, and it was a like a cult hit kind of, which is so funny because apparently the wrestler. I don't remember if we talked. We we went over the wrestler, but 
it was based on Jerry Lynn, which is if you like look up Jerry Lynn, he's like a really good guy yeah. who like has a sh- obviously he had to like work hard and had did not make it and like had these great he was in ECW and had these crazy hard car matches, but he's like a decent dude who's not like I don't think he had like substance abuse problems and all that, but a lot of it has to do with Jerry Lynn, which is really weird. Who is now like the ultimate agent in AEW, apparently. Is he? Yeah. I think it was well, I think it was his golden globe. That's what he won. Yeah. The, that the makes a lot of sense. Oh, I think I think you're right. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. All right. So Mickey Rourke <laughs> is done for now. <laughs> <laughs> he convinces he convinces him to go back for the girl. So then, of course, we get uh, Stallone going, we're going to go get the girl. And then uh, Jason Statham's like, mm, I don't know if it's a good idea. He's like, got to go do it. And then Jet Li's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to, whatever. I, I'm Which is bored. so Any weird because yeah, Chris, Christmas's entire, like, movie role is about a girl. So, like, shouldn't he understand more than anyone <laughs> that yeah, Stallone wants? He's a stranger, and he met her, too. He's like, oh, she's, <laughs> she's not that good. She's, uh, she's, she's okay. not that great. Yeah. <laughs> so Jet Lee wants to go. So then once Jet Lee wants to go, everyone wants to go. The whole team is going to go. Of course. So they're going to go do that. But uh, before we even leave for the island, let's get an, let's get an action scene. Yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. How did Dolph this scene Lundgren, come about? <laughs> they're driving Lundgren, down the road. A taxi. Here guys. comes Dolph. Which another yeah. thing, like they drive that not that old ass pickup truck in this. Yeah. It's a nice car chase scene, but this old ass pickup truck's gonna get away from these top flight sports cars and SUVs, really? Well, they uh, they work in an auto body shop, don't of they? Of course, so it's souped up. Yeah, of course it's souped up. Oh, Dolph Lundgren, what are you doing? Yeah, so he comes out from in a gunfight slash mostly car chase, um. <sighs> And it ends up, of course, in an abandoned warehouse because where else would a scene end? Of course. Which I need to... I mean, there are plenty around. I need to start making a list of exactly where to find the word <laughs> abandoned warehouses just in case. I mean, yeah, there's plenty in Go Troy down, and Cohoes. Yeah, right right down uh, near Sage, right? There's oh, there's a, a lot near yeah. there. Down there's Rivers, a lot in walking distance. To down River <laughs> Street, you can have a good old fight. The problem yeah. is... In Cahos, most of them have been burned down. In Troy, sure. most of them are currently becoming uh, apartments. Yeah. Right, gentrification. Uh, you could challenge all kinds of Highlanders in the uh, downtown Troy area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Plenty of, plenty of Highlander fighting areas. <laughs> I, I work right near a bridge that you could have a massive fight under. That, oh, yeah. that bridge where the boat is, whatever that boat is. You can that one, it. and then also who's Extreme Bridge under under oh, yeah. underneath that bridge? There yeah. are no rules. Yeah, you're having a fight <laughs> under that bridge in the basketball court. You can have a whole. Oh yeah, Lloyd. I don't know why I keep thinking Lloyd Christmas, but I keep calling what's his face Lloyd Christmas in my head. Is that is that Dumb it's and the guy Dumber? from Dumb and Dumber? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense. Like Lloyd Christmas and his girlfriend. No, that's not Dumb right. and Dumber is definitely related to this movie it's all in the same universe so we can watch yes. that. that's what it is that's what, is it, that is. what it is jason statham and lloyd christmas <laughs> are siblings not even half siblings they are brothers so they, they are brothers <laughs> wow i love it yeah which one was lloyd was that jim carrey or was that jeff daniels jim carrey jim carrey, carrey. and then harry i believe was jeff daniels <laughs> yeah harry. harry do you know what you've done our best friend's heads are falling. <laughs> All right. What were we even talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they get to an abandoned warehouse. Great place for a fight. Yeah. So we get, yeah. uh, of course, Jet Li, Jet Li vi- fighting Dolph Lundgren. And Lundgren basically is like, uh, you're a tiny, tiny person. I'm going to kill you. Now, on paper, I'm all in. But yeah. didn't, they didn't quite get there for me. Uh, Jet Li kicks him a million times because he yep. is a ninja. Yep. And he beats him up for a little while, but eventually Jensen gets his hands on him. Jensen is his name. Dolph Lundgren gets his yeah. hands on him. Um, 
and they battle around, and he's like smashing them against the, the roof of the cage that they're finding themselves yep. in. Yep, of course. Uh, and he's gonna like basically impale him on a pipe mm, of sorts. Right. There's like a convenient bunch of spikes he can <sighs> dump them on. Yep. But instead, well, have you guys never seen an abandoned warehouse before? Of course, they're littered with spikes. Just litter. <laughs> this is true. Always available. <laughs> um, but when two guys are fighting, still, for the first time maybe ever in an action movie, Sly Slim goes, you know what? I have a gun. That would probably work better than <laughs> this. <laughs> Shoot these guys. <laughs> in the chest. <laughs> He's probably just shoot Dolph Lager right in the chest. Yep. And he goes over and he's like, am I dying? He's like, oh, I shot you like two inches above I mean, your heart. I shot you right so in the like, fucking heart. Don't but, be an a-hole your entire life. Like, give me one good minute and just tell me, like, what's happening. And then Which, he whispers to him. We yes. see Dolph Lager before this in the fucking golf island giving all the information to CIA guy and Angel yeah, from like, Dexter. Turns on him. He's like, <laughs> yeah, these guys are he mean already to me. fucking screwed these guys. These guys <laughs> Just kill these guys. Just kill Dolph Lundgren. What are you doing? Yeah. So he just whispers in his ear. We don't know what he's saying. Until the next scene where Stolen's like, oh, he told me the layout of the entire thing. Which, at the time, I'm like, fuck you. You're going to bring Dolph back. God damn it. He's not dead, of course. No. So we, we think he might be dead at this point. No, but, not for a second. He's not dead. He's not dead. Because he specifically says, I shot you two inches above your heart. Yep. I'm that good. Yeah. Oh my God. So he goes, he's like, all right, I'm going on the plane now. And then everyone's there. Everybody just goes. And, and they're get... not getting paid either. No. Right? Didn't very... they turn the job down? So they're just going to go? Yeah, they're just, they want to is... help out their bud. It's not for any money. And they're bored. We're just and we get a scene where a they country. talk about like well I'm good with exploding stuff and then it ends with Terry Crews being like I am just going to shoot people with a 50 caliber rifle and also I have it's, these like super crazy yeah. exploding bullets right I'm going to explode some bodies yeah. yeah, there was definitely not enough Terry Crews in this movie Terry Crews is easily the best member of this team he, agreed and he, there was not enough of him he <laughs> wins the battle I mean Terry Crews yeah. He mowed down 17 guys. <laughs> he kills everybody. Uh, so somehow they're still able to sneak onto the island, even How? though yeah. the whole army is going to be on the lookout for them. They've seen this plane already. And then they're they, too, they're too busy painting right each other's the faces. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walk right up to the <laughs> We're here. We're in. We couldn't even get close to it before, but now we're here. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. So you basically see Stallone's like, I'm gonna go by myself and find the girl. You guys plant three thousand bombs, you got twenty minutes, go. <laughs> they do. And we see cutscenes of them literally sprinting around this compound, slapping sticky bombs um, on the walls. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like uh now at some point seven. yeah, at some point, um General Garza has a a, ch- a little bit of a change of heart. He he doesn't want right. to be in in with the CIA guy anymore. Yeah, he still wants to be an evil dictator. He just wants to do it on his terms. Yeah, right, his right. Terms. But then he quickly gets thrown off a balcony. Gets shot yes. and yep, falls off the balcony. Yeah. It's like, nope, you're out of here. Uh, <laughs> they are discovered by the army, who is now wearing face paint, so you know it's serious. Why? Mm. Why? Because they are that, loyal to Garza, not to the CIA. Yes, yes. But then they fight for the CIA because Garza gets pushed off the balcony five minutes later. Well, yeah. now they're just taking their anger out on any white person that's in there. Boy. Yeah. The end of this movie sucks. <laughs> it really so, sucks. We, uh, finally, Stallone, while the team is fighting the army, Stallone is still somehow being sneaky, gets his way all the way to Sandra just mm. in time before she gets... Uh, assaulted by two men, two of the right, bad guys. Right. Yeah. Instead of killing her and torturing her, we're now going to sexually assault her. Yes. Did uh, she see? <laughs> he chops the guy's hand clean off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, so then we end up. They he kills those guys, but then they get captured. 
Why? Yeah, Sandra and Stallone are captured. Why would they be captured? Good thing you brought a whole team with them. Uh, and this is Kill where him. we see Garza isn't dead just yet because he sees uh, Eric Roberts like trying to torture his daughter. So mm-hmm. now he's like, all right, all right, all right. For, for real Finally. this time, I'm not on your side. <laughs> Oh man. Um, so he then he says to like the army, hey, kill like all the Americans, kill Stallone and kill Eric Roberts. And so Eric Roberts just kills him. Yep. yep. You're dead. Um so they're trying to escape and like like, but there's an army. Like, how are we gonna get out of here? All right, well, yep. let's blow up the building that we're still in. Yep. They yeah, they blow that thing up because the sticky bombs. Yes. And somehow fight. that's going to stop the army from shooting them as soon as they run out of, the door. Right. None of the army are in the building. Nope. They're outside waiting for this. But thank God we have exploding people gun that yes. we can use. Terry Crews is able to just wield a caliber rifle as though it is a twenty two. Yes. He, he takes a gun that should be mounted to a tank and just carries it around like <laughs> right. it's a shotgun. Because he's so well, muscular. He is Terry Crews. He's Terry Crews, so he can carry that around and no kickback will ever stop him. And he is essentially slicing dudes in half with a gun. Yes. Exploding bodies. Bodies just explode when he shoots them. And, and like guys have guns and knives and they do stuff too, but mostly it's Terry Crews walking around killing people. And he not only blows people's bodies apart, but he also blows up like entire structures because doesn't he shoot like a there's like a tower with a bunch of snipers in it and he just yeah. shoots it and the entire thing blows up. Yep. <laughs> this gun. What, who was fighting um, Austin? Couture. Couture. Andy Couture. We got oh, the, yeah. the Which, MMA fight versus. Yeah, Steve oh, Austin's no, that... not really doing that much in this movie until he doesn't the end do anything he except Andy Couture. He he tortures a woman. He slaps a woman at one point. He does. Yeah. He's called pain, and then he gets burned alive. No, in in the tunnel, he was fighting somebody, and then we get Terry Crews mowing down people in the tunnel, and he runs away. Yeah, right. He notices that, and like, well, I'm yeah. out of here. So was the he other fighting, dude... was he fighting Stallone at that point? He might have been. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Stallone comes back later, our hero, and he's like, just got my ass kicked. <laughs> right. Yeah. He says that he got his ass kicked. So once we see, like, all right, this is the Foot Clan. They're not going to hurt anybody. Right. We get the, the, <laughs> the semi boss fights yeah. where we get uh, boss White fights Christmas and Yin Yang. Any... Yeah. Kill the other dude, henchman number two, the British guy. Right. And were they um, trying to make Christmas like seem like he was gonna run away, and like he shows back up at the end? It seemed like they were like, "Oh, Christmas is not on board," but then he shows back up and kills. But of course he is somebody, and he's on Stallone's side. Like when was he never on? He was always on Stallone's side. <laughs> he went with him to scout the fucking island. We do get hand to hand combat with Randy Couture and Steve Austin, just so we can see, yep. some... We see some yeah suplexes. Some uh shoot, I think they worked themselves into a shoot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, when you mark a mark and you work a mark, Mark, you shoot marks. So we uh destroy a helicopter that Monroe is gonna use to escape the island. Not good for him. Nope. <clears throat> so who's then Mon- they who's Monroe again? <laughs> Eric Roberts? Eric Roberts, yeah. yeah, sorry. Sorry, I used the, the fake name. It's Eric a real name. Yeah, Eric Roberts. <laughs> uh, so now they have to, like, kill Eric Roberts to save Sandra, but he's just a money guy with the CIA. Of course, he yeah. can't actually fight. Yeah, no, because he gets shot and yeah. dies real quick. Uh, and then even though, yes, the rest of the guys are like, oh, we'll just do this for free. We'll help you out or whatever. Instead of taking money, you find out that Ross like, here, Sandra, take my money to like help fix your island or whatever and this love that never really was is definitely not like i'm leaving i came here to save you but now i'm not gonna yeah there's no love because she just hugs him and says you're leaving you sure and he's like yep Yep. (laughs) i'm out of here 
Got to go hang out with Mickey Rourke instead. They have knife tossing contests. Yeah, they go back to the. Uh, yeah, they have knife. Mickey Rourke has a uh, game of dart slash horse with knives. Yep. 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 Uh, so that we get to see Jason Statham do a perform a poem about knives. P- <laughs> yes, that's how this movie ends. He fucking does a poem. Yes, uh, and we. Um, that's how it ends. And before that, yes, we get to see that Dolph Lundgren is not is dead, back. and all the team is glad he's back. No one has any including trust here. Jet Li, who he tried yes. to murder. And then yep. for like the fifth time in the movie, just Jet Li just goes like. I would have won. Or not even. He says it in like broken English. Yeah. I, I would, would win, win or something. I would beat you in a, in a fight. Even though I was about to die, you were about to kill me. But yeah. we're cool. And Duff Lundgren just like laughs at him like, okay. Okay, little guy. Yeah. Okay. I'm Listen cool. To the, the, just, I, want, I want to go over the names of these characters again. They're so yeah, stupid. Just because they're so stupid. Yes. Barney. Lee Christmas. Yin Yang, yep. which is super Race, racist. Racist. <laughs> yep. Gunner. Dumb. Toll Road. The worst. Pain. <laughs> the Brit. Hail Caesar and Tool. And then uh, the boyfriend is just Paul. No last name. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Oh, that's who Paul is? Okay. He's the boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> because I saw I, Paul on the list. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck Paul was. <laughs> I feel like. And then the Trench is Arnold Schwarzenegger's name. I trench. Feel like, yes, trench. From what I can remember, the sequels are more like it's where all the action stars in a movie. Like, let's just do the stupidest shit we can do. Let's go. Like, instead of trying to be serious, which is what this seems like. like yeah, they were trying to be serious. serious movie, guys. <laughs> like, no, it's not. It's fucking all of you in a movie. It should be as stupid as possible. You should be fighting in space. That's what Fast Nine is. I, <laughs> Why would you rather watch Expendables Two or Fast Nine? Expendables Two in a heartbeat. It's the same exact movie. It oh, listen, they yeah. gave it a hundred million dollars. Expendables Two only made three hundred fifteen million dollars. It made more money. I like how one of them they have uh, what's his face, uh, racist guy is the bad guy from uh, what the fuck? Why can't I remember his name? A lethal weapon guy. Oh, they went down. They only made two hundred fourteen million on Expendables three. Well, I think he's a bad guy in three. Um, yeah, but I feel like the other ones realize like this is Antonio stupid. Banderas is in here. There's so Wesley Snipes is I think is in oh, Wesley two. Wesley Snipes is in here. Oh, Kelsey yeah. Grammer is Bonaparte. Yes, of course. Oh, his name is Bonaparte. Jesus. Fantastic. I feel like the other ones are like these are dumb. Let's just dumb it up. Let's go crazy. And that works. But the first one is so serious. And it's not good. Oh, Terry Crews loses the hail and just becomes Caesar by the third movie. Oh, okay. baby. Nobody ever dies in these movies either. <laughs> they all just survive always. Oh, Chuck Norris is in the second one. Yeah. And isn't John Claude in one of these? Liam Hedgeworth is in one. They bring them all in. Third one. Jean Claude Van Damme plays Jean Villain. Yeah, they bring them all in. Every action star ever is in all these movies. Yep. Yep. So again, how is Kelsey Grammer? <laughs> I Am I missing? He's super uh, famous, so let's put him in there. Okay. He plays the dude that... named Bonaparte. But it's not that he he did action movies. No, so no, I, no, no, I didn't. I didn't miss that anywhere. Okay. No, right. no. I think who's it was got, Who's a famous guy we can just put in here? Yeah, I, I mean the Cole Gibson is in got, the third one. No, Harrison that's Ford, it. Harrison yeah. Ford is yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Harrison fucking Ford is in one of them. The closest that Kelsey Grammer ever got was X Men, the X Men movies, when he played Beast. Which he didn't do oh, anything. I forgot as Beast, he was right? Beast. Yeah. He did almost he, nothing as Beast, and he was in like Up Periscope or Down, or whatever, like a that funny like Mikhail's Navy. Oh, that was a good movie. All those kind of movies, like the goofy military movies. Down Periscope, I think it was good. Is it Mikhail's Navy or Down Periscope or both? I don't know. I feel like it's both. <laughs> um, 
I also I think it was comedy bang bang. Somebody was talking about how they were talking about um, when he made Frasier. Yeah. And like, how do you go from just like an alcoholic in Boston to a fancy guy who only drinks occasionally occasional wine sherry. in Seattle? Sherry. Or sherry, yeah. <laughs> was he drunk in, in uh was he drunk he, in Cheers? I don't remember. He showed up to drink beer at like three thirty in the afternoon every day. Yeah. He was he, he was, was also dating. He was, he was just was there dating. to date her, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what that's how they brought him into the show. He was just there to date became... uh, what's her face? Yeah. Yeah. Rhea Perlman. Got it. Yes, of course. <laughs> Rhea. Rhea <Perlman. laughs> uh, okay. Wally, you're up next. Go ahead. So um, all right, I will my, say what I ruined my going. week. <laughs> I was going to choose Zoolander, but they took it oh. off Hulu. I was going to choose Zoolander. Zoolander. Donald Trump. Wow, Donald you were going to use Trump as your guy? Oh, I, man. Who else is in Zoolander? Oh, my I know God. you said Ben Stiller counts as a wrestler because he was on WCW. Yeah. He was? Yes, he was, he was with Hulk Hogan on WCW. Oh, man. Yeah, so Ben Stiller counts. So you don't need Trump. All right. You can do any Ben Stiller movie. Let me see something real quick before I make my final decision. Okay. Thanks, Ryan, for making us watch Meet the Fockers 3. <laughs> now, <laughs> does, <laughs> does everyone have a way to watch Disney Plus? Yes, we all have mine. <laughs> okay. <Right>? Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Well, let's go with heavyweights then. Oh, this is great. What a winner. I don't even need to watch it. I mean, I will. It's been a long time. I love this movie. Love it. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of it. Oh, it's fantastic. I remember some of it. I remember the, uh, yeah, I'm looking at pictures and I do remember enjoying this. The best. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. I just don't remember like plot wise. Alan Covert is in this? Yeah, he's the cameraman for Ben Stiller. Oh, okay. Ben Stiller plays two characters in this movie. I'm pretty sure. Keenan. Oh yeah, Keenan. Of course. Keenan was every like Disney like kid is in this movie. Every Disney Goldberg. fat kid. Every right. Disney Goldberg's kid. In Goldberg is in it. Keenan. Goldberg is, in is in like it. a main part of it, isn't he? The kid, the main, yeah, he is. The main kid in Heavyweights is in Mighty Ducks One. I'm pretty sure. I think same, you're right. Same guy. Really? Yes. Oh, that's right. Jerry Stiller's in this too. Jerry. Yep. It's a good movie. I think it's great. Fantastic movie. I love it. You yeah. nailed it. You I, nailed I, it. I do have, I've got another one that I, I can choose, but this is definitely better. This is definitely better. So this we'll feels go. like a stretch, but it's going to be fine. Heavyweights is a great movie. So good. Yeah. Very well. Very good. Still funny. So have you guys watched the new um, Mighty Ducks? Just the one episode, which one I enjoyed. Episode. I enjoyed it. I have not watched it at all. Now, I can't remember. Did they start making the team in the first episode? Yes, because I think we talked about this. Did we talk about this on the air or did we talk about it off the air? Because Dan Lid and Hep was also watching it. But they start making yeah. the team and they have the goalie who's just okay. plays video games and they have the kid who looks like he's going to be good because he has the fancy equipment but yeah. he sucks. Yeah. And he's from yeah. Canada. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, we got to um, get him. So they basically just did a Goldberg 2.0 right that the, indian kid so the kid who's yeah. the goalie is basically uh goldberg 2021 like goldberg would yep. be playing video games and not leave his house right yep yeah that makes yep. sense and, and be terrible at, at physical movement yeah but yeah. he can at stop physical movement <laughs> yes. i still think it's funny because we've watched a bunch of these how julie the cat is like a state champion goaltender in the second movie and Goldberg is hideous in all the movies, and they have this state champion woman's goaltender who they yeah, don't fastest play. Glove you, you can find yep. they don't play yep. her until the very last minute because Goldberg they just move Goldberg out of there. Like, oh, it turns out you do suck. Yeah. <laughs> you did your Olympic team for sucking. The one that always <laughs> the thing about that that always bothered me was they. <sighs> Put in Julie the cat. She's got the glove. Yes. He fires a shot and she goes to reach for it. And then everyone pauses because they don't know if she caught it or not. <laughs> As if you couldn't look in the net and see, oh, there's not a puck in there. She must have Is stopped it. it. She definitely Nobody knows until she shit. drops it. 
Because <laughs> they need that suspense because ladies can't be goaltenders. Although Even though the she's the greatest woman, goaltender in the entire the United States. The one woman States. that I know of who has played professional hockey in the U.S. is a woman. Or the one woman is a goalie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And her son is now a goalie for like Notre Dame or something like that. <sighs> that whole plot makes no sense because he literally is like the worst part of the team. <laughs> In the first two movies, and he yep. still gets to be the goaltender. Is what he a... in the third movie? Yeah, but he moves to defense. I think she takes over. I think I you're think right. So. I think he yeah. becomes like a, a lockdown defender. Yeah, and we yeah. already talked about how Charlie sucked in the first yep. two movies, but in the third movie, he's good. He's the best. <laughs> he's the best one again. Like, why is he the best? He wasn't the best before. Oh, what's going on? Anyway, heavyweights, good movie, very fun, so much yep. fun. Every once in a while, I pick a good movie, so I don't I love it. suck the life out of you guys. I've seen so. this movie so much. like It's one of those ones where I'm like, should I watch it? Because I already know everything that happens. Probably. I have refresh specific my memory. things that I'm remembering from it, like hiding stuff in like all the bedposts and yes, things like that. Yes, yes, yes. They hide the candy. And then yep. him doing the crazy yoga on top of a... Like, right. He's a nut, like, exercise yeah. guy. Oh, and yeah. They're sliding. I remember them sliding on something. Yep, yep. Those little mats and uh, the, the blob. The blob. The blob getting pierced. <laughs> yep. oh, yeah. He pops the blob because that's the only reason that I forget what's the kid's name. I forget, but the only reason he wants to go to fat camp is because that blob and the go kart. And he's like, that part looks fun. So like, I'll do it just to do that. And he yeah. pops the thing. Yeah. Good movie. Love it. All right, that's it. Peace out. We're done. We'll see you next week. Oh, we were recording all this? <laughs> yeah, of course we did. <laughs> I didn't shut that off. Peace out. <laughs>